Hi, welcome back to Energy Shop Joe. Today I wanted to uh, comment on something that a subscriber is having a problem with, and that's fault code 1664, which is the DOC is missing, or the diesel oxidation catalyst is missing. And it, it alludes to tampering, that kind of thing. However, uh, there's a lot of reasons you can log 1664. We're going to look in this video at what the system does to determine if it should be logging SCR inefficiency faults and a worst case scenario, fault code 1664, the DOC is missing. Mind you, there's many factors that can cause this fault code. A bad temperature sensor, a wiring issue, a calibration problem, or the most common thing I've seen is soot buildup rings in the DOC, and that's what we're going to talk about here. So let's take a look. So we're going to start with up at the top, it says temperature sensors. You've got three temperature sensors in the DOC DPF assembly. Sensor A is in the exhaust pipe that came out of the turbo, and it's measuring the temperature before it goes into the DOC. Sensor B is measuring the temperature after it comes out of the DOC. And temperature sensor C is measuring the temperature after it comes out of the DPF. Now Cummins refers to, the, to A as the catalyst inlet temperature, B as the filter inlet temperature, and C as the filter outlet temperature. So fault code 1664 states that the DOC is completely missing. It's gone. What does the system use to determine if that's there? Well, the only thing it can use is temperature differential. So it looks at temperature A, and let's say that that is 600 degrees for the sake of argument. And we're in a regen, and the air's coming in at 600 degrees coming in. And then if you're in a regen, you're putting fuel into the catalyst. Remember that atomized diesel? And the temperature in the catalyst is getting hotter and hotter and hotter because the catalyst's job is to make that fuel into heat. And then temp temperature sensor B senses how hot the catalyst heated the air flowing through it and how well it did it burning that atomized fuel that was put in it. And the ECM knows how much fuel it put in there, and it knows how much heat differential to expect between A and B. So once the regen starts and fuel's getting into the DOC, atomized fuel, if you subtracted the temperature of A from B, you should have a number somewhere between two and 400 degrees, most likely. That's a ballpark. So if A 600, you should have 800 to 1,000 or maybe even 1,100 at B. Now what's important to remember is the temperature sensors only protrude into the DOC and DPF about an inch and a quarter. Now let's go back and look at those thick yellow bars that I've got at the inlet of the DOC and the inlet of the DPF. Those represent rings of soot. Over time, soot will build up in those areas. Not so much on a DPF, but on the DOC, especially if something happens where the engine's smoking a little bit, then you'll start building soot up. What the soot does is it makes a wall that the air can't go through. And that temperature sensor will actually be hidden behind that wall. Because remember, we're talking about cells. The air goes through individual cells. Think of a hundred soda straws in a bundle. That's what the DOC looks like. So if you only have the center straws open and all the hot air is going through there, 
and the temperature sensor sensing the air coming out of the end, cell, the end cells in the straws or the end straws around a peripheral, it's not going to sense any temperature. And that's what happens. So then when, when that goes on, the ECM will log fault code 1664. And that means that the, D, the DOC is missing. When in fact, it might just be sooted up. Now, what do we do about that? Well, the first thing you do is you pull down the DOC and DPF. You take them apart and you look to see if in fact you do have that thick soot ring. I would say in from 2007 till 2021, I changed maybe four DOCs because they had become inefficient. Most of the time they become inefficient because they get poisoned. Usually that's because an EGR cooler goes bad and coolant starts going back there. And they drive it for a long, long time. Just keep dumping coolant in and driving, dumping coolant in and driving. And then the DOC actually gets coated with the coolant that dries, almost like a glass coating. So the fuel can't get to the cell walls. It just skates through on that coating and it doesn't make any heat. Uh, the other reason that I've changed them is because they physically cracked. And uh, I don't mean the element, but I mean the can just cracked. So it's unusual for a DOC to be so failed that it logs this fault. I would suspect that in this case, the problem is just heavy soot buildup. Why does that happen? Well, now, you, now that's a whole different subject. We got to talk about why is the engine smoking? So uh, the point of this video was if you're going to put a, a DOC in, make sure that the fault code's not there because of soot buildup and you'll put that new DOC and it'll be fine for uh, maybe six months and then you're going to start logging in efficiency faults and then this fault will come back if the root problem is actually soot built up inside the inlet of the DOC. Thanks for joining me in Engine Shop Joe. See you next time.